One of the nation's biggest health companies is to be investigated by the federal government for offering bonuses to doctors to see extra patients. The Medicare regulator will consider if the incentives being promoted by primary health are improper. Consumer health groups are accusing the company of putting profits before patients. Medical reporter Sophie Scott has this exclusive report. That's it. That's it. Pfeiffer Myers is a calisthenics champion. Here's the one from this year. When she injured her ankle recently, a bulk billing GP at a primary health clinic sent her for an x-ray. Her mother Nicole was told she'd need a second appointment to get the results. I was a little irritated and frustrated. I think they, they're probably trying to milk the system. I think it's a rort. Her suspicions may have merit. The ABC has obtained evidence that primary health is offering financial incentives for doctors to see more patients. GPs can get $1,000 for 100 diabetes plans, $2,000 for 100 asthma plans and $3,000 to see three extra patients a day, all inside six months. Consumer groups say it's a blatant case of putting profits before patients. It'll exacerbate what we see as four-minute medicine, which is doctors that are rushing through those appointments in order to be able to bill higher numbers every day. Legal experts say deals like these can encourage over-servicing. So from a patient point of view, what does it mean when you see that doctors are being asked to see a certain number of patients and they'll get a bonus if they, if they reach that target? I think a lot of patients would be, would be concerned by that because they may be thinking that they're just a number that you're just a product, that they're working through the numbers to, to reach a, a financial goal. Primary Health says they're bewildered by the concept of over-servicing. As someone who has worked countless after-hours shifts to see patients in need and clear waiting rooms, this term is completely alien to me. In the end, Pfeiffer's foot wasn't broken and she was able to compete another day. Sophie Scott, ABC News.